ever gone on contact. So that's about as good a play I've seen him make since he's been here. I mean, to dive like that and get up, have to throw it off balance on the money like that. No legs underneath him. Game winner. Can that kind of be a shift in momentum then? You know, it seemed like there were a, a bunch of them today. You know, we get off to a two nothing lead and it seems like we give them a freebie and Perezin hits a homer and now it's a, a two, two game that we felt like we were in charge of. And then we had the, you know, we couldn't get some guys in and it just felt like one of those days that were, felt early like it was going our way and then it wasn't. And then certainly that play was the biggest momentum shift of the game. You were encouraged by what you saw from Benai today? Yeah, I thought he threw great today. I mean, that's the best we've seen him throw in a while. I mean, it's not always about the velo, but it's about the location and the life on his, on, that he has on all his pitches. And, you know, you were seeing some 92, 93s today. You were seeing some sliders at a little higher velocity, um, change-ups a little higher velocity. It, it, uh, that's as good as we've seen him in a while. After it seemed like it was tough for you guys to get guys in front right. of the position, Chapman to get that big hit there. Yeah, that's what I, you know, it's a funny game. You know, it feels good and then it feels bad and next thing you know, it's good again. So you, that's why you play all 27 and that's why you keep grinding on it. And now they're in a position too. And last thing with the Gordon hit that they can tie it off a guy who's been, you know, basically spotless. Um, so yeah, it, it ended up being about as tight a game as you can get with a lot of, a lot of changes. Uh, Bob, I don't know if you saw Piscotti's dad actually came out there with the arms crew in the middle of the game. Did you see that at all or no? I did not. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how little. And the other day, they did the Trinan thing on the scoreboard. Yeah. You know, how when he comes in, and I said, that's new, huh? And they went, no, I've been doing that for a while. So I tend to miss stuff. All right, never mind. Anything else, guys? I know when Chris Davis is struggling, and then Olsen also starts up there. Chapman homering kind of showcase that those two aren't the only guys that you rely on for those moves. Yeah, you know, Chapman will throw show it in different ways too, but you know, we saw his first game, first or second game in the big leagues, he's got a little bit of a flair for the dramatic. Had a double down the line. I think it was his first game. Um, so, you know, the defense, I don't know how many runs he saved. You know, he made the one one error but throwing it, but you know, made three or four other plays, or at least two or three other plays that guys are gonna be in scoring position. So you know, it's it's similar to an RBI when you save a run defensively and then, you know, the, the home run, you, you, you ease up just for a second after Davis and Olsen and he can bite you like he did. You brought up the Chapman error. Is that a, a, an error that only a good defensive player makes? I mean... Yeah, nobody else probably even tries to get the throw off. But the fact that he's so quick to his feet and has such a strong throwing arm, you know, he gets an error for it. And he'll get some errors over the course of his career because of that. And... Lesser defenders aren't even throwing it. Good.